Misty Mersage with the City of Cupertino's Sustainability Division. Today we're at Indra and Anita Ghosh's home here in Cupertino. They have a low carbon energy surplus home. That means they produce more energy than they consume. Let's go check it out. Hi Misty, come on in. Thank you. So tell me, what's it like living in an energy surplus home? Well, it's very much like any other homes in this neighborhood. Let me show you around. Great. Misty, here is our kitchen, and you can see it's very much like any other kitchen. Hi, Misty. Hi, Indra, how are you? Fine, thank you. So this is our induction cooktop, and uh, it's, uh, it's a little different from other electric cooktops. Great, tell me how that works. Well, the surface does not get heated as much, and it also generates heat to the bottom of the skillet. Let me show you a cool trick. So what I have here is some water, and I'm gonna set it to the highest setting. And what I'm gonna do is get some paper towel and set it under the skillet. And as you can see, the water gets heated up, but the paper towel stays intact. Wow, look at that. And you know what, Misty? All our appliances, almost, almost all our appliances are Energy Star rated, and we use the microwave very, pretty extensively. So what about heating your house? Do you use a gas heater? Uh, no, actually we use an electric heat pump. Let me show you. The heat pump actually works as an air conditioner during summer. Wow, it looks like an air conditioning unit to me. Yes, so in summer how it works is it actually takes heat from inside the home and pumps it outside and during winter actually it reverses the process. It's taking heat from outside and pumping it into the home. Wow, so what about your hot water? Let me show you. Great. So this is the heat pump water heater that serves the whole house. What it does is it takes heat from this outside air and actually puts it in the water over there. And it's completely running on electricity. Wow, that's great. Seems like you use electricity for a lot of things, including your cars. I turn off the power to most appliances. Many appliances actually have a substantial current drain even after they're switched off. This is to keep the circuits active. This is done for a variety of reasons, but most of this power is wasted. There are switches which are used to turn off that power. Wow, so even with turning off the power um, on all these electric appliances, your electric bill must be really high. No, we have solar panels, so PGE and e sends us a check at the end of the year. Well, you had to pay for your panels, right? Yes, but over a period of eight years, they are all paid off with all the money that I have saved. For five years now, I have had no utility bills and no gas bills for all the cars that I am driving in day-to-day -day living. I did a detailed audit of all our needs beforehand. I also found we could save a lot of electricity by converting to LED bulbs and turning most things off instead of relying on standby mode. Thank you so much for sharing. This has been really fascinating information. For more information on how you can lower your carbon footprint, go to www.cupertino.org sustainability.